Pokemon collectors and investors. Today, we are doing something a little bit different in this video, and we are going to be talking about the future of Scarlet and Violet era booster boxes with the information that we have now. And I'm going to give a, sort of a price prediction, maybe-ish, for a long, longer term, uh, which is very tough to do and honestly really dumb of me to do because... It's kind of just stupid to make those kind of uh, predictions on the internet where people can uh, come back later and call you out, but um, I'm going to do it, and we're going to just dive straight into this, and uh, we're going to be referencing some uh, Sword and Shield era stuff, just kind of as a little bit of a point of reference, because we are pretty deep into the Scarlet and Violet era right now. I do want to also say uh, beforehand that... I do not think that the best sets have been released already uh, for this era. I think that there's some absolute heat coming. Um, end of this year and next year is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, with the Team Rocket returns and... Don't even get me started. But uh, what you guys can see on the screen here, if you aren't familiar, this is TCG Player. One of the most common uh, websites so that you can check out singles and uh, sealed products and pricing, kind of market pricing. Uh, you can use eBay as well. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, just easier on TCG Player pulled up, you get the chart. And so battle styles, uh, the reasons we're referencing this is because if you look at right here, it just says that this was released on March 19th of 2021. And this was kind of, uh, this is regarded as a pretty weak set from Sword and Shield. This was kind of like the first one with like the alt arts and stuff. Uh, so, you know, it's not, um, it's not the best set. But that being said, um, it has seen a, a pretty big run up uh, as of recently. You know, like from this year, you know, 100 bucks to, you know, almost 140. But the reason I'm referencing this is because this if this is one of the weaker this is weak for sword and shield then and we are um you know like three over three years removed uh from battle styles then i think it is worth uh referencing that it is at a point where it is still not at msrp which is 143 dollars. if you guys aren't familiar this was on the Pokemon Center not that long ago. Um, you Obviously, you look at these prices, you could have been getting this. Um, like the one year, I mean, it didn't really dip below 100 but you could have been picking this up for 100 bucks. And something that uh, is important for you guys to note, if you're newer into sealed investing or not, just to um, clarify, and I kind of just want to put it out in the air, that uh, reprints heavily affect this kind of stuff. And we don't always know, we don't really know what's going to get reprinted when. We can have like a general good idea, but the Pokemon Company can reprint anything that they want at any time. They really can if they really wanted to. They're kind of proving that with the Japanese currently right now. And they're doing like uh, the EV Heroes and uh, Lost Abyss, which is the Lost Origin and Lost Origin involving Skies in Japanese. And traditionally, that would be out of rotation for English. But they're doing it and they're printing like 151 into the ground, trying to stop uh, scalping and reselling. I don't think that's going to happen for English, but that is, is something to keep in mind that it's not out of the realm of possibility. But let's get back to the boxes. So battle styles. I don't, I think that uh, also for transparency, I don't, I only have a few boxes of battle styles. And I do like the set. I like uh, Urshifu. I've talked about some of the, his cards um, in the past, but Anyways, I do think that this box will continue to do well long term, but I just wanted to like, like let you guys know like this is three years post release, over three years. So three years and however many months. So we kind of want to reference that, like that this still isn't up to MSRP. So that this is uh, when we talk about sealed investing, it's usually five in, in my in my opinion, and it can vary depending on when you get in. I'm thinking five to 10 years down the road with five being the early, right? So this, we still haven't seen where this is going to be in five years. Uh, we can 
take a look and we can see the listed median price right here is at 150. So uh, expect this to slowly creep back up over time, maybe by the end of the year, maybe sooner, maybe longer. It really depends. Um, a lot of people are going to be going heavy into Scarlet and Violet. So some of this Sword and Shield might get neglected for a while. But, you know, this could be at 150 and then we're over MSRP. So that is totally possible, highly likely. Now, um, let's talk... Uh, Let's jump into Scarlet and Violet base, which I feel is kind of similar to Battle Styles, which is kind of why I wanted to reference it. Um, it has gotten a reprint, but you can see right here the release date on this. We're this is March, end of March 2023. We're barely over a year, so a lot of people say that this is uh, one of the weakest, if not the weakest, set for Scarlet and Violet. Uh, some people say maybe Obsidian Flames. You know, people have different uh, viewpoints. Point being is it's generally regarded as weak. I kind of like Scarlet and Violet Base. I'm more bullish on it, personally. I think if you're getting any of this sub-100 in 5 to 10 years, that this, this box is going to go at... I mean, in 5 years, it's going to be above MSRP. So if you're getting in at... See some of these prices at... 80 88 90 dollars what you guys have to keep in mind too because this is sub 100 then there's a new msrp on the scarlet and violet era it's like 161 i think anyways we'll just call it 160 160 dollars a box so if you're getting in at 90 and say it just finally makes it up to msrp and you're able to offload some of those boxes like we'll say worst case scenario because Traditionally, over time, if you get, uh, once you give it enough time, boxes don't go below MSRP, okay? So if you're getting in that, I, I think also too, kind of with the new MSRP increase uh, for this era, that, that's just going to kind of tick things up just a little bit. So um, kind of like what happened with Sword and Shield recently is that a lot of the boxes finally went out of stock on the Pokemon Center, and it kind of created a little bit of hype. People were making videos. It was getting a lot of hype, right? So, if that happens, when that happens, with because uh, I don't, I think that because this got a reprint before, I don't think that there odds are there's not going to be another reprint, especially with kind of where the prices are at on this. So, I think that a lot of people are ripping this, and a lot of people are overlooking this set currently. And so, I could see this. Um, I could see this in five years being like a two hundred dollar box, maybe like if it goes slow, you know, it could it could maybe pass that MSRP and kind of hover between like one seventy, one eighty to two hundred on the higher side. Keep in mind, it's extremely hard. There's no way for us to know like what uh, what these are gonna do long term. Like if anybody's telling you like for a fact, they're lying. Like I'm not telling you for a fact. This is just an estimation. And so, uh, let me know in the comments, like, give me some props, one, for doing this, and two, like, if you think I'm just crazy or whatever. Um, so anyways, Scarlet and Violet, I think it's really an underrated set. I think it's going to do really well long-term. I do compare it to this, when you look at battle styles and you go back and forth, but when I start to look at the artworks from this era in general, I've said it before, we are in currently the best artwork era of Pokemon cards that we've ever gotten, hands down, no question. I will die on that hill, and Scarlet and Violet started it, okay? The base set started it. And you cannot persuade me otherwise. Now, that being said, so that's kind of, you know, my uh, Scarlet Violet base. Let's jump into, which one was two? Okay. So the second set that ever came out, um, it doesn't have the, it doesn't show the release date here. But anyways, we're, we're at like one year, I think, for, for Paldea. Now, Paldea is currently, some people will say, possibly the best set that we've gotten a booster box set we're talking mainline sets not specialty sets you can see the price here right we are getting close we are like what we're at 130 what is battle styles at like one okay you see you see so paldea is a is a really great set and i think that long term even after some of these other sets that might come out if they end up being what i think they're going to be that paldea is still going to be highly regarded as a great set but currently it is ripe for a reprint and I'm pretty sure it's going to get it uh, this year at the end of this year. Um, we're going to see that and we're going to see the price come down. Uh, depends how big, how big, but 
um, depending on you know the reprint and give this another five years um, I see this being you know uh, poss potentially like between 250 to 300 dollar range in five years um, I could easily see that as a possibility that being said I could also see this as like low 200s cracking 200 and just kind of hovering around there it, it, it's so hard to tell in the market of like what's going to happen so that's kind of like mm, what i think is potential now if you're looking at picking up paldea i've said it before i'm waiting i'm going to wait for the reprint if i'm if they don't reprint it and i miss it i miss it because you can't get every play on the market but i would love for these boxes to tank down to like around 100 a box and then if it runs up to over 200 you're over doubling your money so that's kind of where I'm at for uh, Paldea. And we're going to just move on. We're going to move through these uh, boxes next. This is, oh, yes. Okay, so this is set number three. This is Obsidian Flames. Um, this was August. August 2023. So we are not even to one year yet. And you can see that we are seeing a little bit of an uptick on Obsidian. I say that this is an underrated set. Not one of the best from Scarlet and Violet. But I do think that long term it will do well just because of Charizard and I do like the chase card personally and I do think it's undervalued uh, and I do think there's some other undervalued cards in there. We've talked about the gloom, you know, the, the Pidgey line. There's some good cards in here. Now this set, like I said, I think it's going to be a little weaker, uh, honestly, just for the initial run and then long term is where it's really going to take off. Uh, if we pull up the chart here, like it was higher and it hit its, you know, it's been as low as 90 bucks. Um, so it's seeing some decent little gains right now. Uh, the listed median price I find interesting because if this is a really weak set and uh, I think believe this one ha uh, got a reprint with Scarlet Violet Base as well. Anyways, uh, 125 is the median price. So we could see this start to uptick to that 125 range, which if you got these, I, I believe... Last year around Black Friday, I picked up some of these boxes and they were like 80 bucks, or like 80, 82, somewhere in there. So those are some pretty decent gains. If this, even if it just goes up to $125, if you pick them up at 80 percentage wise, you're doing pretty well. Um, this is probably one of those boxes that I could see in five years hovering around um, below MSRP still possibly it, it's really hard to tell it could be uh you know like 150 150 to msrp like 150 160 um but i could also i could also see it uh taking off a little bit and and cracking above that and hitting that sub 200 maybe cracking 200 potentially it, it really just depends on how this era is also like looked back upon so um but yeah that, that's kind of my that's kind of it for Obsidian. Uh, next up, we have Paradox Rift, which ugh, I feel like is another good set. Um, personally, I really like this set. Uh, we're at you know 104 a box here. Uh, listed medium price is 120. Uh, I think it's a solid set. Um, for this guy, I do think that this is going to definitely be above Obsidian. It's kind of just like the consensus of the market, the community. Uh, they tend to like it better, although. You know, you look at this price right here, we're at, what is it, 10 current market, they have it 103, and they actually have Obsidian higher right now. So I do find that interesting. But I do think that long term, this uh, there's too many good IRs in the set. And I think that this set is going to perform well. Um, in five years, mm, I could see this, uh, I could see this definitely surpassing MSRP, which once again is 160. Um, I could see this... Uh, you know, around two, 200 a box in five years, somewhere in that range, plus or minus. And also, I just want to, I want to retrace for a second. Um, I, I'm just thinking about this more. I'm gathering my thoughts a little bit, but we're, I want to come back to Paldea for a second. I think there is a strong possibility that this, that, that this could run a little higher in five years, uh, depending on the reprint and depending on what other sets come out, if they like kind of take the cake from Paldea, if the other sets aren't as strong, um, I could see this, I could see this in the high twos, low threes. I just wanted to just touch on that, that I do think that that is possible, uh, 
with that set. It just it just depends, and we'll know more by the end of this year. Next up, Temporal Forces. I'm not personally like the biggest fan of Temporal. It hasn't been out very long. Like we pull up the chart here, uh, January, right? Came out the gate at 140, and but um, you know it hasn't really dropped below 100. And I, while I don't like some of the Pokemon from it, the artworks are great. Uh, once again, you can never deny that. I don't think. This set, I feel like long term, will do. They'll all do okay, but I think this one might be one of those ones that kind of gets pushed to the to the the background. And you know, I'm I'm seeing this uh, in five years. You know, kind of um, honestly, like maybe below MSRP still in five years. I'm gonna call uh, and and once again, I could be completely wrong. I'm just giving my opinion. Um, I'm going to say like 145 a box. I don't know why. I don't know why. The pull rates are tough. And it just depends on the print run and reprints. But it just something about it just doesn't really call me. Call to me. However, this is a set. This is the last one we're going to touch on right now. Um, but Twilight has really, really, really surprised me. Because I was down on it to start. But the Greninja. Uh, we'll touch on the Greninja just for a second here real quick. But... Because of the Greninja and the popularity, like this, look at what this is doing right now. Like this is already at 117 with 130 a box. This could be one of those sleeper sets because the pull rate is, the pull rates are so tough. And if, if the Greninja turns out to be the Moonbryon of this era, which I don't think it is, but people have been talking about it, um, at 230 with 270 market, it's like because the hit rates are so crazy i do like the card i just don't like it at this price but um the rarity and the hype that this card is getting if that ends up becoming the moonbrion or even like the second or third like crazy chase card this twilight box in five years could be well into the threes 350 400 a box i just want Maybe even more, maybe even higher, depending. Like I said, I don't think that this is the evolving skies of this era because I think that's coming later. But say, say that we get that more of that evolving skies uh, level set, and you know that's the seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollar box from this era, and then this is like this ends up being like tier two, which is possible. I think you guys have to admit that it is possible that. Um, I could see a world where, you know, this is in the fours, four, four fifty, five hundred, potentially. It, it all of this, guys, all of this really depends on reprints. Okay. It all it depends on Pokemon hype. It depends on what the games do. It depends on what the anime does. There's so many things. It depends on if PokeRev says something. Like <laughs> there's a there's a lot that can happen and a lot is subject to change. But um more realistically for that box, I'm going to say 3 to 320 in five years. Um, yeah, because it's it's just come out so strong. It's really surprised me. So um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, if you're this far in the video, we're at 18 minutes, uh, and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content, do me a favor. Go down below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you agreed with any of my takes, if you think I'm crazy, if you think I'm stupid. Also, there's a link below for the Discord. Um, if you guys want to join the Discord, we're posting about deals. If you just want to have like a direct line, we can talk. I'm, you know, we're we're starting to see some growth there. So um, I try and post uh, deals to the Discord when I find them. Other people we can post so we can all be making sure we're getting good deals. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.